Hey guys, welcome to the video number 369. Very warm welcome to all of you and uh, my name is Ajay. I'm going to today actually teach you that if you are in a situation where you have a one text file and it has a data, let's say it has uh, maybe three columns, four columns or maybe ten columns and you want to split that data, you want to split that columns data and you want to create, uh, you know, uh, the separate text file for each of the column available in that your original text file, then how you can do that. So this is going to be the ex excellent uh, video for us because uh, this is uh, basically a very, you know, the kind of, if you're working in an MIS, and you may have faced this situation, right? So I want to actually thank uh, one of uh, you know my subscriber actually Prasad, uh, and he actually has written this. Um, um, if I got several columns and I want to export each three columns as a separate text file, how to do that? It would be great help. Right? So uh, he posted this comment on the channel one week back, and uh, so I want to tell you what exactly he's looking forward to. So guys, uh, as you can see in front of you, uh, we have a test file okay I've, I, obviously I have prepared some dummy data here but this will be applicable to your own code as well now the interesting part is that uh, we have got three columns here and uh, we want to transfer this data into three text files and you can see on my desktop I've already created test one test two test three they are all blank actually right now okay? so what we want to do is we want to first pick up these numbers the first column nine seven one six eight seven six seven seven eight and we want to export it in test one file. And then uh, the, you know, the second column, which has a name, uh, Hirsch, BDM, CT, here, and, you know, that should go to the test two. And the last column, which is claim, main, cancers, you know, font, all of that, everything, I mean, you know, in the third column, it should go to the uh, test three file. So this is what is uh, the requirement. And in this uh, file, data is uh, separated by the space. You can see here, headers and three spaces are there so i can also do one thing uh, i can also create the header so maybe i can write here id and then i can write here name and then i can write here um, status maybe okay so let me save this uh, i'll show you uh, you can see here test one is uh, all blank test two is all blank and uh, test three is also blank okay so i have already created these uh, files test one test two test three uh, just in case if you want to create this using the vba code then uh, you can uh, um, uh, you can go ahead and check out one of the videos on the you know how to create the text files on my channel so if you're watching the channel for the first time or maybe you want some little information about the channel uh, then uh, just a second let me close this prompt guys these are all the different playlists on the left side you can see here we have got so many different different playlists you need to do is uh, because this is we're going to talk about the files we're going to talk about the text files so here um, somewhere here you would see that Excel VBA file handling playlist and you got to click there and then I'll tell you which video you should watch first uh, because this is going to be the extreme advanced level video so click on the Excel VBA file handling and then this, these all videos talks about you know your the folders how to deal with the folders and how to deal with the text files if you just scroll it down uh, you can go ahead and watch video number three to four how to work with the text files okay. and then afterwards you can watch 325 video as well using collection loops with the text file and there are a lot of things how to import the data from the text file so this is also the video which i uploaded a little while back you know that if you have a data in the text file how to import it in excel right but the requirement which we have today that is entirely it's a different altogether requirement so let us go ahead and let us start the you know this program guys uh before i go further um i want to tell you uh, because you know let's uh, first of all uh, make a roadmap so you know you have basically uh, how many files you have got you have got uh, eight test files here okay so this is the main file which is your you know uh, which which has the data so i want to actually transfer the data you know in all these uh, text files one by one okay so what first of all you want to do is uh, first of all we will use the class called scripting scripting library and that scripting library we will use the file system object class right uh, as i said if you don't have any idea about it please go ahead and watch first of all that playlist excel VBA file handling uh, scripting file system object it, it's actually a class guys uh, under the library scripting which actually gives you a lot of lot of um, you know methods and the access to the properties of 
the folders and the text files. So any point in time you want to work with the text files, you will have to use this file. You will have to use this as a system object, right? So what we will do, we will get all these four book uh, files, text files opened, the memory, and then we will run the loop and we will run the loop in this file and we will say, please read every line one by one until you are on the last line. And, and then what we will do, we will use the arrays. Why arrays? Because you see, in your this file, in my particular file, I have three columns. So in the arrays, the first column is going to be considered as zero and the second uh, is going to be considered as one and the third is going to be considered as two. So what we will do, we will split the data. For example, if I pick up the first line, you remember in, the, in that line, there was some ID. Let's say it is 677 and the name is ABC and there, there was the third header, which let's say has YT. So what I'm going to do, is when you're going to read the line, the first line in the text file, this text file, the main file, test.txt, the line is going to be read, you know, a single line. We will split it using the split function. So what will happen, this will split into zero, this will split into, uh, this will go into the arrays of first index, this will go into the second index, and then what we will do is, we will simply uh, tell the VBA actually transfer this data. For example, this data should go here, Okay. and then the next data should go uh, this particular the another data you know the another data should uh, from here it should go to this particular file which is your uh, this one and then the last one you know this particular ytt uh, should also go to the another file which is my three so in this way i will be able to make this code very easy right we can we can make this code very easy it's, it's very easy right we will have to split that that's it okay. let us go ahead and uh, let us create the first uh, you know the chapter of this uh, the first actually the task of this vb code just to define the all the files so let's go ahead and click on the visual basic i'm going to click on the modules uh, you got uh, got to go to the tools and the reference and then please uh, activate this microsoft scripting runtime default it is not activated you will have to activate it and in case if it is not there you can simply press m m m and you will find where it is you know all the libraries are, are alphabetically sorted out so you will have to click there, right so i have explained this i mean you know in my lot of uh, the, those previous basic videos that is why i would not like to uh, you know spend the time on the basic part again so let us go ahead and uh, let's uh, name this uh, macro as split data okay so the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly define the object which should uh, you know be defined as a file uh, system object. I'm going to declare my uh, the first object and uh, okay oops I just pressed F8 actually so we're going to declare here episode as a scripting uh, file system object okay as I was telling you that this is a standard line you will have to declare it because this will give you the access to the properties in the methods uh, with the help of which you can open the text file. Okay, so we're gonna set this variable. We're gonna give this space in the VBA. So this is how we write. Uh, we're gonna write uh, scripting file system object. Perfect. Okay. Now, what is the next thing I want to do? Well, I want to create, uh, you know, four text files basically. This is the original file, so I just name it as O file, and uh, I'm going to declare this as scripting text stream. Okay. So text stream actually is a which you define. So I will copy the entire stuff and. Uh, I will paste it quickly and uh, this is going to be the file 1 and this is going to be the file 2 and this is going to be the file 3 okay or maybe um, we can simply go ahead and put all the stuff in the one line right and uh, just put the comma you don't have to declare the name again and again so I'm going to just put the comma here all right so we have all the files defined here perfect now uh, we will open these files one by one so so I set OF file, O file, your first file is going to be opened using the FSO, which is your file system object. And that is why we declared it because you see, it gives us the access to the method called open text file. So you will have the file open now. Now the file is, um, you know, it's on the desktop, obviously. Um, the files in fact are, are on the desktop. So I just go right click and uh, the properties I'm going to uh, copy the path, entire path actually. So I just copy this. I press OK, come back here, 
and you need to open the file okay this is what you need to do press comma what is the next parameter well you want to append the data reading or writing well i just need the data only to read it okay so i just declare it as a for reading okay so this looks perfect um, and i'm going to copy this line and we will define it for another files as well so let us go ahead and uh, let's give the name called uh, the o file one variable will represent my test one file and o file two is going to represent this two and this is going to represent this three and obviously i'm going to make this file as um as what as test one test two and test three all right perfect so we have all the files open once this code will run you know and then we're going to run the loop and we, we are going to say that do while um, not your o file which is your main file at the end of the stream that means keep running this loop till the time you are not on the last line okay so uh, here we will declare here uh, you know this uh, the var as a as an array and we, we are going to use the split function as i was talking about uh, but before we do the split function i think uh, yeah we can do that right so we can simply split the function we can use the split function and uh, then what you want to split uh, whatever uh, you will read in that you know the first line of that text file so you're going to write o file the name of your file and the read the line okay the read line so whatever the line you know will be read at that particular time because this is a loop it will go and you know uh, go to every line one by one so the first line when it is going to read that is going to be split by the space as you know that our data is separated by the you know the split uh, the space function so here i'm going to declare one more variable in fact it is going to be an array uh, uh, not just a normal variable uh, we're going to declare var and uh, i'm going to declare it as variant okay this, this is going to be the array so when you use the split function you don't have to basically declare uh, you don't have to write any open end parenthesis close parenthesis with this table okay with this array because split is automatically going to do that for you okay so once uh, you have the data You'll have to read that data and the data is going to be you know obviously uh, read by this line dot read but then what is the next thing you want to do so let us go ahead and write the data since we have read it now so this is what we will do we will uh, write o file one which is my test one file and i'm going to write here write line and uh, make sure that you should write a right line not right because right is not going to give you the you know uh, going to enter the data in the next line so you write the right line and then the position of the first variable which is going to be the position of the first index which is going to be zero and uh, i'm going to copy this line quickly and i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to paste it here and uh, then one and then two okay perfect and once we are through with this uh, we would like to close all the files so i'm going to write here dot close o file uh, two uh, dot close o file one dot close and then o file e dot close okay that's it so we would like to close all the files now let us go ahead and run this and i will make you understand so we're gonna put the i'm gonna put the watch code on this let me put the watch code on this and now we're gonna run this code uh, let me just go ahead and press the f8 so i'm gonna run this f8 there we go so all the files are going to be open now obviously you can't see that but they are open in the memory and uh, this loop should run so let's have a look now the moment i split this line you can see that this this line uh, is going to read the first line of my text file and uh, the moment i run this this plus sign created because now the data is going to be you know uh, bifurcated it is going to be separated actually not the bifurcated by you know the space so we have collected we have so far we have been able to collect all the data right now we're going to run this line because whatever you have in the val 0 that should go to the text file 1 which is test 1 file okay and whatever you have written in the index of the second uh, which is 1 var 1 it should go to the second text file and same for the status okay so i will run this line and let us see now oops i got the error bad file mode oh bad file mode um why this is coming as a bad file mode the files are correctly opened um okay yeah i got the point actually terrible mistake we are doing uh, we can't open this for the reading purpose guys right because we have to write so we will have to actually use the for writing okay i'm just going to copy this and uh 
just reading is something you just want to read the you know the uh, the values okay the lines in the text file but here we are going to write it so that's why you will use the formatting and this the main file which is o file which is test file where you have the data that would remain as for reading because we don't want to write anything we just want to pull out the information from there you know uh, we just want to read and then after reading it we want to print it in the other three files right and uh, there is another mistake which i have done uh, which should be the file name should be changed okay perfect now uh, so let uh, let us go ahead and run the code now guys okay so all the files must have been open now in the memory so we uh, i will run this the first line should be split and uh, yeah that's it you know uh, run this so the first uh, my file which is file 1 which is test 1 okay it should actually print the data it should write this line which is in the var id which is id okay var 0 index you can see here so i run this and there is no error very nice and then again f8 f8 so i think the code is running and now again the new data will be split because uh, you have a new now second line of your text file uh, which is .txt right so if i run this you should see the change here and there we go you can see here wow wonderful we have got the second line you know split uh, from this basically the space right and uh, we have now three different different columns so we're going to target the first column second column third column through these lines so again it will print those lines i keep on running this i i guess we have five six lines here so i will keep on running this and there we go there we go and finally i think yeah that's it so finally the files are closed and that's it so let us go ahead and let us check actually if we are able to do this or not okay uh, this is your complete code simple code but very powerful code right so first of all i open the my main file obviously i want to ensure that the data is there or not so because this is the important data it should not be lost um so it is there okay perfect now i'm going to open the test one it should have been, uh, you know give me the headers so i just double click it oh wow this is crazy man this is i'm just loving this right you see that how easy it is for us in the vba and there we go wow this tool also has got all the names separated wow it's amazing and that was a wonderful question indeed thank you so much mr prasad uh and this is your test three all right so we are done with this guys right isn't it now uh what you can do is um you can also create these files in the beginning i mean just in case if you don't want to create the you know these files manually then you can go ahead and uh, check my video uh, you know the videos which i was telling you under that playlist uh, this one to work with the text files i have talked about how to create the text files basically uh, a very simple code you have to use using the fso so when you use the fso this is what you need to do create text file okay and then you can write the complete file name with the path so in that way also you can create using the coding there is no as such issue with that right you can automate it you can fully automate it as well right so if you have any uh, if you have 16 folders then guys i would suggest you to write these you know var2 var3 var4 var5 var6 var7 or 16 times 18 times it's a, it, it, it is just a one time activity but you you see that this is really going to be a very powerful thing because uh, if you don't know the vb coding then doing it manually it's very impossible i mean i won't say it's, it's impossible but it is a very tedious task because you have to copy the data in a perfect way because you know every like for example if i just copy this uh, from the text file if i just copy it can i can copy this you know the column wise i mean i will have to if i select here then the, the upper header is also going to be selected so maybe you first copy this and paste it in the excel and from there you know you can do that text to column but i think that's not a good way you can simply make this powerful vb program right so that's it for now and um, thank you so much for putting up this question did i think everybody is associated with this channel or watching the video uh, you know uh, they have gained the knowledge immense knowledge in fact very powerful code so guys thank you so much and keep posting your comments questions i will be back very soon with some another exciting stuff and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching bye bye